let's understand the philosophy and the genesis of the new GST return filing system. The new GST return filing system moves away from the GSTR 1 and the 3B mechanism. Although it says that you will have to pay your taxes on a monthly basis, no matter which kind of return you file. But ultimately, what they're saying is that everyone will do an RET 1, a return 1, which will have certain annexures. Firstly, every taxpayer will define their profile. This will be the details of what is their turnover, what are the kind of supplies they make, what are the kind of business they make. Based on this kind of profile, only certain specific sections will be visible to them in the RET 1. Also, the new return filing mechanism will allow amendment of returns. This is an excellent feature because in the previous regime, taxpayers faced a lot of difficulty if they wanted to amend a part of their return. Another interesting feature that they are proposing is e-inversing. Now the whole idea behind e-inversing is to curb fake invoices and to make sure that there is a certain mechanism in place so that all businesses are generating e-invoices which are based on a certain parameter. Those parameters are predefined perhaps using a certain specific language a computer language to generate an e-invoice and such an e-invoice can be read by all the parties involved. In fact, even banks may be able to read and understand your e-invoice. The other interesting feature is around e-way bills. What they're saying is that an e-way bill could perhaps be generated directly from RET1. A relief that has been placed for small and mill taxpayers is that they will be able to file their returns via SMS.